What's going on, football fans? It's time once again for another rendition of the Pound for Pound. I'm your host, J.R. Clark, and today we're going to be previewing the upcoming game against the Minnesota Vikings. This is going to be a tough one. I ain't even going to lie. You know, Minnesota Vikings, their defense has been on a roll for, shoot, since the, since the Seattle game, really. And, uh, uh, and their offense isn't, I don't know. I mean, their offense isn't like super explosive, but they're but because of how good their defense is, you know, their their offense is deadly enough, I guess you could say. And Case Keenum is is playing surprisingly well uh, as a you know journeyman quarterback on his third or fourth team. He's really found a rhythm with you know Adam Thielen and Stephon Diggs and you know Kyle Rudolph and company. So uh, with our banged up secondary this week. Uh, that's going to be a, a decent task. I mean, we did good, you know, sands the third quarter on the Tampa Bay game, uh, holding, you know, holding their playmakers to, you know, minimal gains and things like that. But that's, uh, now you're going to talk about trying to do it for four quarters. You know, you at least had a half with True Font in there last week. And, you know, you're not going to have, True font this week for sure, and maybe even next week against the Saints, which would be even even worse. But that being said, let's just kind of go ahead and get into it and break it down a little bit. Uh, you know, some of you know I was at the game last week versus Tampa Bay, and I know we've all heard it throughout the season, but I'll go ahead and reiterate. If you get a chance to go down to the bins, man, that is a, that is a sight to see. Uh, I mean, I know tickets are expensive and things like that, and you holiday season coming up may not have any extra scratch but if you can swing it i highly suggest it because that was a lot of fun just just being in that building seeing that building was a lot of fun um you know it was a lot more comfortable experience than the dome uh from my vantage point up in the 300 seats but um that halo board is something oh that halo board makes a makes every seat in the house a good house you know good seat for sure so um but back to the uh, upcoming game <clears throat> like i said we host the minnesota vikings so i think that that you know kind of lends itself to our favor you know i mean home team always has you know an advantage of not having to travel and you know being in more familiar settings more familiar surroundings and i think our guys are getting more familiar with the bins you know with uh, mercedes-benz stadium um, that they didn't necessarily have at the beginning of the season. And it helps that, you know, I think our offensive coordinators, you know, finally catching his groove with uh, Matt Ryan and, you know, Julio and Sanu and all the other guys, you know, really figuring out what their strengths are. And I mean, we knew that was going to take time. You know, we hoped we wasn't going to drop some games that we dropped early on, but we did. But we're still sitting in a, you know, comfortable position in the, NFC South, only one game back from Carolina and the Saints with, what, two games against the Saints and one more against uh, Tampa and Carolina still to play. I mean, there's there's still a, you know, shot to, to win this thing, you know, the win to South for sure. But um, as, as far as the challenges that, you know, Minnesota presents, they've got a, a nasty front seven, you know, uh, what they're, they've got. You know, fast and physical linebackers like we like to have. You know, they got those. They got, you know, good defensive tackles. They've got edge rushers. Uh, they can get pressure with just four. Um, they have a, a high-level uh, quarterback in Xavier Rhodes. And if y'all remember that draft, he came out the same year Trufant did. We moved up to get Trufant and, uh, because rumored that, or at least came out afterwards, that the Vikings were going to take Drew Vaughn. So, you know, they settled for Xavier Rhodes and got a great consolation prize. You know, he's a, he was a pro bowler last year and playing at a high level this year. They got probably one of the more underrated safeties in the league in Harrison Smith. I mean, that dude's a baller. Um, along with his partner in crime, uh, Sandejo. They, they make a really good tandem at safety. So, I mean, we're going to have to be on point. And one of the things I, you know, was reading, I think uh, Mike Conti from 92.9 put up that the Falcons are number one in third down offense 
and the Vikings are number one in third down defense. So the things that both these teams are good at as far as, you know, offense versus defense, that that's, you know, number one versus number one. So we're going to see, you know, on Sunday who, you know, comes out on top. I mean, I really feel like we're catching a groove at a good time. Um, but this is no game to sneeze at. You know, this isn't, you know, the Vikings of a few years ago. This is a, a Mike Zimmer coach Vikings and, you know, buddy, they, they play some good defense. That much is for sure. And um, so, you know, Case Keenum's got just enough mobility and athleticism to make them annoying. And, you know, we saw what uh, Fitz Magic did a couple times against us, you know, running up the middle. So we got to hope that, uh, you know, Vic Beasley shows up some, you know, some more, I should say. Um, he even got challenged a little bit by Dan Quinn this week on his uh, press conference. So he's looking for more forced fumbles from Vic. Um, so, you know, we're going to see. Uh, they may have some, I uh, think Mike Rimmers might be out of this game. Uh, so you're talking about, you know, backup offensive lineman potentially. So that could work in our favor. Uh, but good news is we get Devontae back this week. That should help out a lot. You know, one of the easy, you know, one of the best ways to slow down a pass rush is to, you know, screen games and run it right at the pass rush. So, you know, with Devontae back, that gives you yet another uh, potent weapon in the backfield, whether it be catching or whether it be running. And, you know, he's going to be itching to get back out there, uh, you know, and, sh and show his craft again. So <clears throat> I, uh, I'm i really looking forward to this game. I really feel like this team is catching a groove. I know I was, you know, talking earlier in the season what the part that was – bothering me the most wasn't necessarily the losses it was the way they were losing you know they were bad losses and they were bad wins well we're starting to get some some you know good wins and starting to look like we're finding finding a rhythm on offense which is what we want you know which is what we need going into the to the final stretch of the of the season and potentially heading into the playoffs i mean if you're going if you're going to catch fire you want to catch fire now you know and, and that's uh, at least in the last three games. Now you can argue, you know, um, Dallas was uh, without their left tackle and starting running back, but Dallas's offense didn't, you know, allow 30-something points on them. That was Dallas' defense. Then you had, you know, the Seattle game. Yeah, they were without Richard Sherman and Cam Chancellor, but that's the vaunted, you know, Legion of Boom up in, up in Seattle. And... He went on the road and was able to win. You know, no road game is easy. No road game's a gimme in the NFL. And then you had, you know, last week with uh, Tampa Bay and Fitzpatrick, which everybody likes to talk crap about Fitzpatrick, but he led the Jets to 11 and a five uh, record. You know, so he he's not a I don't know he's not, he's not bottom of the barrel. You know what I'm saying? He's good enough to hold a place down, but not good enough to friend, to uh, anchor your franchise to. So, but either way, you know, you still you still held them to 20 points. And how about, uh, you know, a lot of the Falcons faithful get off Ricardo Allen's back a little bit, you know? Dude's played, you know, damn near lights out this year. And then when Trufant and all them, you know, Trufant went down and Brian Poole went down, you know, he was playing, you know, cornerback you know, slot corner and making making plays, you know, stopping folks on, you know, third and one and, you know, breaking up passes. And so I, I hope the the casual Falcons fan realized just how well Ricardo Allen's playing and just how much of a linchpin he is for, you know, for Dan Quinn's defense. He may not have necessarily all the ball skills in the world, but he's definitely got it up here and he's definitely got it in here where it counts, you know. So, uh, anyway, like I was saying, I, I think this is going to be a good game. Um, a lot of the pundits are split on who's going to win, which shows you just how close it's going to be. I feel like we've caught a groove, and I feel like as long as we keep the chain short and don't shoot ourselves in the foot, I really feel like we can pull this game off and go into Thursday night against the Saints with some momentum. Because, uh, you know, you're going to need it. You know, the Saints are playing good. They're playing real good, which pains me to say. 
So, you know, um, we don't need to go in there with an L. We need to go in there with a W and, you know, go in there with some momentum. But uh, that's what I got for you. I appreciate y'all watching. I appreciate y'all liking. I appreciate y'all sharing. And uh, to the lady I bumped into at Kroger, you made me really smile that day. I, I very much appreciate your kind words. And uh, we'll keep up, you know, keep up doing what we're doing. And we do it because, you know, because of people like y'all. And I apologize about not doing a preview before the Tampa game. Um, just with the holidays and all, family in town, things like that, just... Before I knew it, it was game day. And I was like, crap, I ain't done a preview. So my apologies to y'all on that one. Uh, Toby did a real good job of of uh, doing the recap and, and covering the game afterwards. And y'all showed him that love with those thousand views. I really much appreciate that. That shows us that y'all that y'all like it and that y'all are enjoying it. So keep up that good work. I'm out.